Hi! Uh, last week um, I made a video showing how you can use uh, the three-phase inverter <coughs> with the motor as a boost mode charger. And now forum member DCB has found a way to also use it as a buck mode charger. And you need to connect it up a bit differently. So again, we have our power supply here which simulates a rectified grid. Not very accurate, but okay for the concept. And then again we have our battery voltage here and battery current here. So to, the way to connect it is um, I figured the plus uh, connection from the battery <coughs> is usually disconnected by the main contactor anyway. So um, you just need a charge current rated switch to connect it to one of the phases instead. So again it can be phase uh, 1 or 3 and 2 is being used for um, the pulses. Um, the power supply in this case uh, is connected directly uh, to the inverter plus and minus inputs. Uh, so the minus input comes from over here and is just uh, connected uh, straight through. And the plus input, I connected right here, goes to the power supply. Um, this means the Precharge logic that usually comes with the inverter cannot be applied here, <clears throat> so you'd have to come up with your own precharge logic to um, precharge the bus caps to the rectified mains voltage. Okay, I fix the camera and uh, show you a quick, quick demonstration, do some efficiency calculations to round it off. Okay, I hope it's all visible. Ah, looks like a clamp meter. I'll keep it out of sight. Now oh, that might do it. Okay. So just like boost mode, pop mode is enabled by changing the parameter, which is now called charge mode, uh, to buck. And um, so the charge current now is now actually the charger output current into the battery, as opposed uh, to the input current in boost mode. And I've sent it to 12 amps. And we can try that now. And I just um, connect reverse to forward and reverse so both to high, and then we start it. And there we go. So, not quite 12 amps. Well, the current sensors are still not very accurate. And, oh yeah, I also had to tone down the, the regulator's um, the charge KP parameter from 50 to 20, because otherwise I got some minor oscillations. No oscillations are gone, but the accuracy has uh, gone down a bit. Okay, so efficiency calculation. We have a charge current of 9.6 and a battery voltage of let's make it 27 and we have an input voltage of about 40 volts and an input current of 7.2 and this gives us a 90% efficiency figure now, <clears throat> what's interesting to see, um, and I haven't quite figured out why, if you increase the voltage, let's say to 60 volts, um, the current stays the same because it's being regulated, well, roughly, 
And so now we have 10 amps and 27.2 volts. And 60 volts times 5.5 .5 input. And now, with this increased input voltage, efficiency has dropped to 82%. I'm not quite sure why. So the closer you get uh, to your actual battery voltage with your input voltage, the better the efficiency becomes. Okay, that's uh, enough for boost mode now. Goodbye, thanks for watching.